Come on, Man United. We're here, fam. 2 0. Nottingham Forest, nothing. Nil poire, can't score. Nobody's good. They're dead in your face. Henderson, I'm looking at the calendar to see when Man United are playing. We can't play us, bruv, because why? We're your home team, fam. Anyway, listen, let me get rid of that. That's toxic energy because we need positive energy because Man United are on their way to Wembley. But I just heard from the manager. The manager says, going to Wembley is not enough for me, bruv. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not designing my life to go to Wembley. I designed my life for trophies. This man wants to win trophies. And we're going to see it. Once again, a solid team, a strong team. A, a, again, a team when you say to yourself, bruv, does he not know that we're playing on the weekend? Forget the weekend we're talking about today. And what happens today? Starts all of them. All the heavy hitters, Varane's playing, um, Varane's playing, Martinez is playing, Wambi's playing, Shaw's playing, Casemiro playing. It lets you know what this guy's doing. He's changing the ideas. He's changing what he's, what he's looking for. You see that beautiful stadium? He's saying, listen, everything's changed because this is his house. This is what he's running, yeah? And I, I, I'm excited. As a Man United fan, I'm so excited because I go into every game knowing we're going to win. There was a bit of trepidation, I won't lie to you and say, what if? Because you do go back to the days under the, the last regime where Man United were just doing madness. And I had to remind myself that that madness isn't coming. Yes, we lost the game to Arsenal. And you think to yourself, well, where are we going to go from here? Does, it, does, like, does the wheels fall off the car in this moment? Man United, response, response. We won so many games at home, it's now linked with Fergie's home record. He's turned this space... This space behind me into a cauldron, into a place that nobody wants to come. You come here, you're likely to get smoked. You come here saying to yourself, I'm just looking for a point. But you're not getting a point from here because we're moving different. Man United, we're in the ascendancy and you can see what Ten Hag's imprint is all over this team. You want to talk about a first half though. If I'm going to be, if I'm going to be fair, I've got to be fair and just give you fair analysis of this game. First half, kind of garbage kind of garbage I'll call it you know that water at the bottom of the bin dumpster juice that's kind of what it was like he was a bit bad but there was one shining light and that shining light was playing on the left hand side goes by the name of Ganacho. again we lost the star boy and a new boy was born yeah and this boy knows what he's doing yes some things today did not work but a lot of things did go well with him you can see the dribbles he, he is the ration understudy he is someone that again if we could hand out the young player of the year award you have to give it to him now send it directly to his house everyone should be there party poppers and say big man this is for you because i don't believe there's any young player that's going to have the impact on man united like he has he's playing like a senior pro on and it's only his first season. This guy is deserving of his contract. But we move anyway because what I noticed today, I need to put more respect on Ericsson's name. Flex has told me over and over again, you don't realise what Ericsson does for this team. And I'm not going to lie, big, big difference. In terms of creatively, creatively and how the team moved forward, you could see what was lacking. Man United today was lacking in midfield. Yes, Fred was in there trying to do things, but Fred is... I'm not going to say call it like the Fred McTominay performance, but you could tell that he can't find that, that pass, that moment. Casemiro knows exactly what he's doing. Bruno knows what he's doing, but Bruno and Ericsson's relationship in terms of it's almost telepathic. And today it was lacking. While we're course, what kind of feeling of scraps had to kind of start build things through himself. I like the one twos that he plays, but Ericsson's a miss. I'm so happy we went into the market and bought in Sabitzer because we need him. And I know Ten Hag was saying to himself, I'm limited in the midfield. I'm looking at Kobe, probably not ready. I'm looking at all these different players and it's clear that the one piece that's missing is Ericsson and there's no one like him in the team, bring someone else in from Bayern Munich. And we're, I think he, for me, I think Sabitzer has to start um, straight away. Get him straight into the team. I understand Fred got his goal today, but... Again, you bring a big guy, he says that he made a quick decision and he's here now, play him against Leeds. There's no, there's, don't waste any time. We, we can't afford because now we get, back into the, we get back into the league. Job done today. We move on to the next game. We can't really enjoy this because games are coming thick and fast. Just talking about other things that we've got to mention. Wild Wild Course likes his perform. Wait, did I, nah, that's a lie. I can't lie on here. Wild Wild Course for me, I gave him a five, people. 
There's, uh, there's, there's much more I'm looking for from a wild weight coast performance. Yes, you know, he's tall, but he's not using his strength. He's, he's got size. He's the one twos playing, playing off him. It's easy. It's simple. But again, I need more, bruv. In the words of the, you know, I don't even know that rest of the bikes that like, feed me more. I need more from this guy. And you see Marshall and Marshall, I want to say Marshall, are you the man to deliver the dinners? Marshall probably get injured on the way to delivery. And that's scary. I don't know what I've got. Like, I've got a player that's good, but he can't finish. I c he can't play 90 minutes. And I've got another guy who's good, big size, but isn't playing like he's a big, like, he ain't playing like that guy. And again, something, something needs to happen. Something needs to click. Again, I'm going to do um, certain praise. Sancho. So glad to see you, bro. Man United, this is your home. You're comfortable here. We got your back, bro. This should be the, 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 the Sancho return, the Sancho redemption arc. And will I love it? We saw him in a 10 position today. I still believe that his position is out on the right-hand side. He's got to make that his own. He can't even look over on the left-hand side because it's mad over there. Rashford's over there. Canacho's over there. Only Anthony's on this right-hand side. And Anthony with all this time, has not made that position his own. Sancho, this is your moment. Step up. Again, at least put pressure on Anthony to give us even better performance. Offer more to the squad because that is, what's, that is what we're looking for. Again, how can you not like this? How can you not like where the team's going? Man United are a team that, huh, it's like, we're in so many, we're in so many competitions, taking every single competition seriously, and you're gonna get the dividends. Again, not a lot of great teams left. Not a lot of great teams left in the FA Cup, yeah. And we're getting to Wembley. With that one, you see what I mean? If we do that, hopefully it's Bruno, but with that, it's gonna set in a thing called belief. And belief will kick us on as we move into heavy, serious games. We got some mammoth, huge games, and we need to be ready. And this cup will let us know that everything's changed. Listen, in Ten Hag, I trust. In Ten Hag, everyone at home, I know you trust this guy because he's going to get it right. My manager, my guy, going to Wembley. I'm here doing my thing because I believe, bruv. Newcastle, look at me. Look at me, bruv. We're the captains now. How dare you, bro? You're not on our level. Never. If you're... St I'll, wait until I'm holding the I'll wait until I'm holding the cup to say that. But it's time to go. Listen, Flex, you're a legend because this job's hard, man, and I'm just gonna go back to part-time. Um, thanks, though. Peace!